and welcome to Chief TV Daily Announcements. Let's talk about some events happening today, Monday. There's a 9th and 10th grade track meet in Republic and an SPS boys golf match. You can begin buying your senior prom tickets today at lunch. Tickets are $40 each, which includes a long sleeve t-shirt, appetizers, drinks, and desserts. No one knows what's for lunch today, but I'm sure it's going to be great. Interested in helping others? Care Team is a great way to help those in need at Kickapoo. Applications are available in the Counseling Center and are due by April 6th. Action Sports Club, French Club, and National Honor Society meet today. Now on to information from the Counseling Center. Deadline to register for the June 9th ACT is May 4th. And now some announcements the whole school should hear. Calling all student leaders. This is a reminder that if you want to run for class president, vice president, or student council representative, the paperwork is available in room 109 right now, today, through May 5th. And now an alert to all juniors. Your entire junior class will be taking the free ACT this Thursday, April 5th, during school. This is a big deal and Kickapoo wants you to be prepared. Look around in the hallways for study sessions for this upcoming college entrance exam. Missing school on April 5th, the makeup ACT test will be April 11th in the Professional Learning Lab 126. Either way, juniors, get ready for the test. Hi, I'm Annabelle Edwards and welcome back to National News. A huge caravan of Central Americans are headed to the U.S. and no one is stopping them. For a week now, hundreds of Central Americans line up each day filling a two-lane highway on their way for a better life. Organizers like Rodrigo Abeja hope that the sheer size of the crowd will give immigration authorities and criminals pause before trying to stop them. All the travelers believe by protecting each other they will be able to get through this. Because there are so many border con border control won't be able to stop them. A mother of two was sentenced to five years in prison for voting while she was on probation here in America. Her attorney said she did not know that she was not allowed to vote and had only good intentions. Best of luck to her and her kids. Hey Annabelle, when's the best time to jump on a trampoline? I do not know. Springtime! Oh, <laughs> Awesome, okay.